Globalization, it is of course inevitable. While the concept shouldn't be foreign to Korea, some find it hard to adjust to the rapid pace of this change. For tonight's news features, Lee Eun Shin explains how the international workforce can become the new growth engine in this country and shed light on areas that still require more effort on the government's part. Yoon Cho Yun started a licensing business last year. On stickers, children's books, and stuffed toys, her character Wendy is everywhere at this cozy office in Seoul. Her two staff for marketing and production are Korean. Choyeon, however, was born and raised in China. But she says it was only natural to start a business in the land where she spent most of her adult life. I went to college to study child psychology here and also earned a master's degree. So when running a business in Korea, I'm recognized for my local work experience and degree. The government also helped me with the startup fund. Cases like Yoon's are becoming more common across the nation. As of last year, foreign residents surpassed the 2 million mark for the first time in Korea, more than double the tally of 2006. The number of foreigners in Korea is growing exponentially, and this Gangdonggu district office is one place that truly embraces the growing diversity in the nation. At the moment, there are 10 college students, all from different countries, learning for the very first time what it's like to work in Korea through a summer internship program. There are full-time students pursuing a degree here, most of them fluent in Korean. At the office, they're spread out across a wide range of departments getting hands-on experience related to their major. I came here two years and a half ago. Well, back then I was interested in the language particularly, and then I liked the fact that Korea actually kept both tradition and uh, it's still a modern society, it still kept the tradition. Since I want to work with public policy in Korea, I thought it was a good opportunity to apply and see how things are done like in field, like the real work. My major is international studies, and what I do in Kandongu office is we research about youth unemployment, like in US and Europe, and we see what kind of policies they develop over there, so we can try to implement them in Korea. It's also a first for the local employees to be working alongside students from abroad. The students learn how the regional government of Korea is administered through their internship experience here. For local staff interested in learning languages, interacting with the students is an opportunity to practice foreign tongues. Offering global knowledge and contributing unique skills while being cultural ambassadors in the community, the global workforce is seen as a valuable asset to the regional economy. Korea's working age population is shrinking, which affects the potential growth rate. One of the alternatives to this problem is utilizing foreign labor. And international workforces carry new skills and bring promising jobs to Korea for the locals. Some even fill in the positions that locals tend to avoid. But foreign nationals also face difficulties here and have to deal with unfair and unexpected situations. Most of the media is giving a bad image about Muslims. My rule here, me and my Muslim friend, is to try to correct this image. The preconceived notions often turn into a generalization, which can be critically damaging, especially in the business field. I think uh, Korean society, and especially Korean investors, have, very, have a lack of belief in foreigners uh, really starting their business in Korea. A lot of people think I'm just here temporarily, or maybe I have a company elsewhere, and I just came here just to open representative office. To minimize these problems, there's been an increase in support systems and government programs designed for foreigners, from helping with paperwork to providing networking spaces. Some fundamental issues, however, will take time to overcome. Combining Korean culture with what foreigners bring to the nation and increasing diversity in the country can produce synergy culturally and economically. But accepting those who are not Koreans has been an issue for a while now, and it still requires a lot of effort from everywhere and everyone. Korea's economy, culture and technology are seen as profitable values on a global stage, boosting the number of foreigners who see much potential in the nation. As Korea moves to become a more ethnically, culturally diverse place, 
Experts say supervision and nurturing are needed for the coming foreign nationals and those who are residing in the country. Yoon Shin, Arirang News.